Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our Sky Factory 4 Let's Play Adventure, where today we are going to be building a monster spawner, something I talked about previously, but then didn't do. Now, this is something you would usually do in a more traditional sky block in order to generate monsters. Uh, without having to kill them yourself. I mean, it's a little bit easier here in the overworld because, as you can see, uh, there's plenty of space for monsters to spawn, uh, you know, generate, come into existence, and then slowly make their way over to me to kill me. Uh, it's not necessarily the case usually in a sky block, but uh, around here it's certainly possible. That doesn't mean that I want to walk around constantly killing monsters. I need to do something with that pig eventually. Uh, that would get tedious, boring, old, and some of these things are going to require that we kill quite a few monsters. For instance, I was looking at these trees, which is sort of my own personal goal, make all of the trees, and some of these are pretty straightforward. In fact, we probably have what we need for this one uh, right now stored away. And in fact, I know we have netherrack because I went back here earlier and I moved the netherrack back into the storage hall. Uh, I took some of the items out of our great big compact chest that, you know, we had an abundance of. You know, we have... Uh, like, 84 stack. Well, that wasn't in there. I moved that from over there. But, you know, we had 8 stacks of the sandstone and 10 stacks of the netherrack. And I thought, you know, that would be... It'd be ridiculous to store all of that inside of the, the chest. And we can just move it into a crate. So I moved these back here, you know, just a little... And I, I tidied stuff up in here a wee bit. It's not relevant. It's not relevant at all. What's relevant right now is uh, we need to get some monsters. Because we need to build the prosperity sapling which requires that you get Inferium Seeds, which requires that you get Inferium Essence, which I know is part of farming. But as far as I remember, I mean, where are you supposed to get it? I think it's a monster drop. It doesn't say up here. There's this Seed Reproducer, a Loot Fabricator, and an Enrichment Chamber. This isn't Portal, though. I remember killing monsters and getting those things before, and maybe we've already done it. Oh, yeah, we have. Look right there. We got four of them. I, I can only assume that came from killing monsters. Judy Winslow might sell them over here if we look for the seeds. Definitely doesn't. That's good to know. I'm glad that I checked that instead of just saying it and being wrong. Building a monster spawner seems like the fastest way to fast track getting more prosperity. Uh, well, getting inferior essence to get the prosperity shards. As for where we're going to build it, I'm glad that you asked because I did a survey of the base earlier and found a location that I don't believe we have previously been to before. Uh, it's up here, and I even talked about going to look at it last episode, but then last second, um, Maria said something that freaked me out a little bit, and I was like, I'm going back down into the safety of the base, but I have yet to see anyone watching us from the mountains. Uh, so, I mean, unless I'm just looking at the wrong mountain, I don't, I don't know. I think we're probably safe to be up here. Look at this place back here. I had no idea this existed. It definitely didn't exist previously because we got attacked by Isra Fail here. And uh, this seems like the perfect spot to build it. Uh, it's within the base walls, so more or less it's safe. I mean, you can't be taking siege from any of these directions. Just a straight drop off. Uh, I think if we build it sort of inside this, this area, we'll be good. My only concern with building a monster spawner in a world like this is that monsters can spawn anywhere. You know, the great thing about doing it in a sky block is the game will try to generate a certain amount of mobs within an area. And when you have a sky block and you have one area set aside for monster spawns, they'll all spawn in that area. Whereas now we have this huge wide world and I'm worried they might not spawn out there or they might not spawn in here if they can spawn out there. But we'll give it a try. Maria will try. So to make all of this happen, we will be using the mob underscore grind mob. I think it's mob grinding utilities. And it is a fairly robust mod that uh, features things like these nifty mob mashers, which allow you to install upgrades in them if you so choose to make them like kill faster. You can add uh, a mob masher upgrade for beheading if you want to get monster heads, which is useful. It's also got fans that can be upgraded to blow wider, higher, or further, which is cool, or all three, I suppose. Uh, you got absorption rate. Oh, okay, so you can modify the absorption hopper here, which is very useful. However, it does require an eye of ender, which requires an ender pearl, which requires that we... Eh, what? You don't know how to use this yet? You need stage project E first. What? What? Sorry? What? I... Project D is in this pack? 
How to? Where is that at? How do I do that? How, how, but... What? What, but how? What, what am I... What? Hold on, do these items... The, nothing has an EMC value. What? What do you mean Project D is in this? But how do I unlock Project D? What? If I... I, I'm just in a state of disbelief right now because I, I think I could probably make one of these and then just get iron to make an ender pearl, but I can't because I don't have access to it. How do you get access to it? How do you get access to it? Meanwhile, everything else here is pretty easy to make. The iron spikes, which are the basic form of monster slaughtering, uh, just uses a bunch of iron and I guess a few sticks here and there, but I would much rather build the mob masher, which does require that you first get the iron spikes, so we'll have to build those anyway. As far as iron goes, I've been doing some work over here to make sure we've always got some ready to be cast. I put a hopper up here, filled it with iron amber, and this system is close to being automated. I could add uh, something to pull the completed iron blocks out of there, and then I had a suggestion from someone, uh, was it Nick Alvarez? It might have been, to use a redstone clock back there to automatically activate these here faucets. So I need to do all of that, but then I also need to make a proper big smeltery. Although these would be useful for automation because I could set up a bunch of these and then have auto crafters. If you could comment down below and let me know what kind of auto crafter I'm supposed to be using. I'm not really sure what is available in the pack. I'm sure people have mentioned it before and I have forgotten and I apologize. I'm going to go peruse through previous videos comments here in a minute but i could have it set up to where you know like let's say the contents of the the nickel trees here are automatically pumped into an auto crafting table which then creates the proper amber which then pumps it into its own specific smeltery i mean a setup like that would be easier if we had power and we could just you know put the amber into i mean let's just take a moment here to look up amber and then what could we smelt up the amber in? Let's say we had lead amber. I could put it into a regular furnace. Uh, and that would produce a lead ingot. But I want something that would double it. Is it. I mean, besides the melter, is there anything that does that? Energized smelter. That does still just give us the one. Also, it's part of mechanism. Oh, an enrichment chamber would give us two. I think the game really wants me to use mechanism. I think the mod bag seems to be insistent that I just get over my previous issues with mechanism from previous mod packs and embrace it. And maybe I should. Maybe I should build the enrichment chamber to create pulverized lead and then uh, build the energized smelter to turn that into lead ingots. Uh, that I mean, it doesn't really give me a whole lot of other options when it comes to smelting, so maybe I'll just have to do that. I mean, one of the cool things about mechanism, I guess, is the wind generator, which was previously... Recommended by Raz Vale, a username that I hope that I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, they said it's pretty cool, and it does look pretty cool. So you know, maybe we'll look into this one at some point when we get into mechanism. But none of this is none of this is important. What's important right now is the the mob grinding. I keep forgetting. All right, so I'm not really gonna branch out too much from my previous designs for mob spawners. I reckon the standard approach will work uh, for this. Just make a platform shroud it in darkness and go from there. In fact, since we are cutting directly to using an automated system, I might not even need to waste time with, you know, the usual setup of using slabs to block light while still being able to see inside and punch monster feet. It's not necessary this time around. I don't need to be able to see inside uh, beyond initial setup, do I? I don't think so. If I wanted to, I'm sure there is some sort of glass in this pack that would block light. Clear black stained glass is probably not it. Reinforced glass is witherproof. Oh, that could be useful. Um, there's different mods, and different mods have different type of immune to light and explosions. So tempered glass would probably do it. That requires in stone. I know something here called dark glass by Pickle Tweaks, which requires just some glass and some dye. I don't know if that would block light. I'm not seeing my usual choice. For, uh, for for blocking light, and which is something that I've already forgotten the name of, but it's what I used in previous packs, and I'm not seeing it. We could try this, though, because it is just glass and a form of dye, and then testing it wouldn't be all that hard. So let's bring this up. We'll bring up the dark glass. What is this from? Pickle Tweaks? What a fascinating mod user, or a fascinating mod name, I should say. 
Uh, let's make all that into iron. And then as far as testing this, it's just a matter of making a really dark area. Like so. And, uh, I mean, I guess we could get inside of it if we wanted to. What am I doing? There we go. And then we just want to find out if it gets completely dark when we place down a little bit of this glass. It does! It gets really dark! Okay. Does it completely- Oh, good, you can pick it up after you break it. Dark Glass by Pickle Tweaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great mod name, and it looks like it's going to be a really useful tool if we want to be able to see inside, which might be useful. So I might make a, a window along this side where I can look inside and sort of observe what's happening. Maybe like make it too tall or three tall. It depends on how tall I make the inside. I want Enderman to spawn, which I think means... Oh my gosh, this frame rate. Uh, if, I, if I could fix this frame rate, I would. If I had access to... I, I, the thing is... What, am I supposed to remodel the base to make it run more smoothly? Probably. That would probably fix the issue. But uh, that would take a long time, and I don't know if, if Lucas Kits would be okay with it. Cause, uh, Lucky Lou Dog, you know, of course, builds all of this. And uh, not sure how he'd take me completely redesigning it. Alternatively, I could just stick more powerful hardware in there. You know, I mean, the upcoming 16-core Ryzen CPU, I guess I could put in there. Guess I could go get a 2080 Ti. I wonder if there's going to be a super variant. You know, they keep teasing these supers, and everyone's theorizing that they're new cards. Is there a 2080 Ti super? Do I need that to run Minecraft? No, Minecraft isn't super, at least not the Java edition, isn't super dependent on your GPU. It's it's very much CPU bound. So do I need a 16-core Ryzen processor to run Minecraft <laughs> smoothly? Maybe. <laughs> Who can say? Um... I just spent a bunch of money, though, on my, my editing PC, which uh, uses completely different hardware, so... Okay, cool. I need to make some more of that glass, and then we can start setting up the inside. Guess who's all out of ink right now? It is me. I ran out. Ah! Oh, Shrek me! I thought I was going to land in the water just then. That did not pan out. Uh, where are the squids? Oh, man. The squids are the most inconsistent things around here. Sometimes there's a bunch of them. Sometimes there's none of them. Uh, right now I need them, so they're not here. I'm going to have to go hunting for squid. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at some of the other things we're going to need. We're going to need at least one fan. I could make two fans, or I could make one fan and a modifier to make it blow in a wider direction, which it would be more simple, but do I have feathers? Well, let's just see if we can craft one of these. I can. What goes into a fan, though? Because I might just make two fans. It just needs some redstone. Oh, well, we should have redstone. Where, where's our regular old redstone block? I can make a couple of those. Let's just make two fans. I mean, oh, or we could make one fan, put it smack dab in the middle, and add both of these upgrades. And then it would... Well, no, we couldn't put it smack dab in the middle because it's too wide. We made it too wide. Not not too wide as in too many. Not too wide as in T-O-O. -O. Too wide as in T-W-O. I know, the language is complicated. Let's make two fans, then. Let's just do that. That'll simplify things a bit. And I think we have to have a switch to turn those on, so we'll need to make a lever. Do we have everything we need for that? Recipe is wrong every time. Excellent. We got those. Next up, we need to build our mob mashers, which is going to require that we build our iron spikes, which we're not going to have what we need for, because we're going to need a substantial amount of iron. And... Uh, I can make that happen. We'll also need sticks, but we've got sticks. We're good to go there. I can speed this process up even more if I do uh, one of these. Now, it does require that I get rid of that table temporarily, but uh, we'll put it over here in this chest so I'll know exactly where to grab it. And then we can plop these down here, get ourselves more iron. Perfect. This recipe, by the way, only makes one spike. So if we want to make two mob mashers, which I kind of do, uh, it's going to require four of them. That's a, a crazy amount of iron. All right, I just created 16 iron swords, which, yeah, I'm pretty confident that's how many we need. I did some rudimentary math. That should be enough to create... Oh, gosh. Uh, let's put the rest of those in there. Uh, we're going to need three for each spike, and we need four spikes. So that's three times four. That's 12. And then two for each of these. So 13, 14, 15, 16, because we're making two of these. So, yes, I'm confident with my math there. Oh, my... Are you kidding me? Going to have to... Yeah, oh, there we go. So four of those. More redstone blocks. I think we just need two of them. Yeah, I think we've got everything we need. Look at that. We've got mob masher number one. And 
What are we missing for the second one? More dime. No, it's good. Mob Master number two. Okay, great. I don't know if they need power, but we'll go ahead and make levers for them as well. Just, we'll, we'll make a ton of them. We might need more later on. There we go. As far as upgrades go, I'm going to get two of these uh, Mob Master looting upgrades. So one for each of our Mob Mashers. I was thinking about getting a beheading upgrade, but I don't really think we need it right now because we don't need heads and I don't want to go through the effort of making these helmets. It wouldn't be complicated, but it's not necessary. Distance upgrades, on the other hand, are going to be necessary and we're going to need it. <laughs> We're gonna need more than one of them, I'm sure. Oh no, is that all that we can create? How many feathers are we missing? Oh, all right. Well, let's go set all of this up and we'll figure out exactly how many more we need. And then we'll go on a fun adventure to find some chickens. So I guess we put the fans in over here, although I don't think it matters. We can configure this any direction we want. I'm just thinking in terms of loot pickup, there's more room back here to set up some sort of loot collection and sorting. And we'll touch on that in a second. But uh, first, let's get some levers plugged in, some levers back here, flip those on. Fans are going, and they push us back to here. So nowhere near far enough. We need to go another one, two, three, four, five back. And throwing in one of these fan upgrades into the correct slot. I guess that one right there. Show area? Oh, well, that's cool. So it'll show you how far it blows. So we can turn that one on and see that it's not blowing quite as far. We need it to blow back farther. Although, do we? I guess we could shrink the size of this thing, but I'd rather not compromise on my integrity. So let's not do that. I'll just go kill some more chickens. It'll be it'll be no big deal. I mean, feathers? Maybe there's an alternative method for getting feathers. Let me see here. Where is feather? Oh, we can buy them for seeds. Do I have any seeds? I'm sure that I do, because we've done some basic farming. Meanwhile, on this end, we're going to have the mob mashers set up each one with a looting upgrade and you can add more of these what is it up to 10 yes yeah, so we might make some more of them and then it's just a matter of turning them on and letting things run into them and die a horrible slow and painful death which will be enjoyable for me but uh, should we demonstrate the power of the mob masher yes as you can see the levers do if you put them on one side of a block it'll send the signal out through the other side watch this Ah, okay. I mean, it didn't do that much damage. But you can imagine if you're not wearing diamond armor and also you're a monster, uh, it's enough. It'll it'll get the job done. I There's no fancy settings on here to view like radius or anything like that on the as you know there is on the fan, but you don't need that because, I mean, the radius is just making contact with it. So the idea is monsters spawn in here. The fans blow them into these things. They go, zzz, zzz, and then, oh, the loot has to be collected, doesn't it? Using the absorption hopper which we can't build yet. I don't know what we're going to do in the meantime. I guess the most basic thing I could do is just, you know, until we get some some ender pearls, I could put a hoppers in here and just put a chest underneath. Oh no. Wait a minute. Is this my storage vault? Oh. Oh, how about that? Oh my gosh, that makes this easy. We can just pipe things straight into the storage vault. I'm about to die. Let me eat a bit. Slime boots. Why didn't I think of these before? They give you the ability to hop. It's just slime and congealed slime. It's not diamond boots. It's not. It's definitely not, but... Oh my gosh. It makes for a much better way to get around. Unfortunately, we still don't have the climbing gloves. But at least, you know, even if I have to walk up there, at least I can then jump back down. So I guess if we wanted to, we could put down some hoppers there. And when things die, contents will be put into the hoppers. And then what? Do we have it just put into a basic chest? I mean, it would be effective for now. And I guess we could come down here and get the chest. Is, would a chest like that open? If we put a double chest down here, would it still open with hoppers on top of it? I don't want to hop down to find out. Let's. <laughs> I'd have to climb back up here. Let's build a test scenario on like a skinny platform up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a chest. We're going to put hoppers on top of it. Chest still opens. It's not perfect. But until we get some ender pearls, dad gummit, it's the best option we've got. Not even that really. It's the best option I can come up with. Well, gosh, you know, a ladder right here up to the roof would not go amiss. I'll talk to Lucky Lou, see if maybe he can install one of those. It would make getting around the base a lot quicker. So these go into there. And now it's just a matter of getting some more ink sacs and some more feathers, which means I 
have to go on a grand adventure. Don't you worry, I will not subject you to hardly any of it. Oh my gosh, this might actually be my opportunity if this guy will hold still. He keeps teleporting away and running like he's trying to get away from something. He's acting like he's in the rain, but it's nothing but bright skies and desert around. Dude, what are you... What the Shrek? Where is he going? Oh, I just gotta look directly at him. I'm gonna have to aggro him. That's the only answer to this. He's gone! I've now got 14 ink sacks, which I think is plenty. I've only been able to find a couple of chickens, so I've started smashing grass in an effort to get more seeds. Managed to get 10. Uh, I've got a ways to go. Um... Uh, this is not my house. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I found a village. Well, this is cool, but also I'm really, really pitifully, terribly lost right now, and I have no idea how to get back home. I thought I was heading in the direction of my base. I think I might have overshot or else undershot it. You need to go into the water now because you're making me a little bit nervous, so you just uh, you go do some dying. I'm going to take all of their wheat and hopefully get a bunch of seeds, because that's what I've been looking for anyway. Alright, now I've got an inventory full of their stuff, and I'm still not sure where I am or where I should be going. Oh my gosh, what do you reckon we've got inside of here? There's always a chest full of goodies. Ooh, Spawn Seeker searches out the nearest spawner. Some iron boots and an Ender Orb Translocator. Just leave- wait, hold on, what was that? A reusable Ender Pearl that carries you? Boop, okay, we need that more than we need an arrow. I'll take that, too. Well, we need string, Shrek. Uh, what is this? Pepper seeds? Leave those behind. Well, everyone, thank you so much for your hospitality. I would not recommend trying this without the slime boots. Oh! Oh my gosh, we still took damage. And it looks like it took some damage. I wonder if there's a way to repair it or else recharge it. Is that the ocean? Oh, we've overshot our house by a ways. If that's the ocean. I mean, I've never seen the ocean before. I'm just sort of assuming. Oh, gosh. This thing is dangerous. Please don't kill me. Nope. It's it's going to kill me if I keep using it. Okay. There's an... A key, oh, 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 okay. No, we're fine. If I drop normally, I should... See, I need to get over there. And we found this excellent tool that you think would be great for getting me over there. But I need to wait for my health to regen, because if I try to use it, I'll probably die! How have I done this? How have I ended up so far? I've made that trip back and forth to the Greenlands several times, uh, with no problems. How come now, suddenly, I've gotten lost? How did I do this? Did I- I must have- my base isn't necessarily- hmm, well, maybe it is hard to find. I mean, I guess if it is hard to find, then we've done our job, <laughs> <laughs> right? Raven Guard shouldn't be able to find it. Oh, gosh. Gonna make a leap for right there. Oh, did not work. What? Why did I stick to the wall? What? Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm like Spider-Man. How am I doing this? Okay, it seems like I figured out how to climb a little bit more consistently now. Uh, what you do, and I'm not sure what is facilitating this, if it's something I'm wearing or something in the pack, but jump and then you hold down on shift uh, or control, depends on what your crouch is on, and then you kind of let off of that, and then you just balance between jump and... Oh my gosh. It's, it's complicated. I can't get it to go now. Do you have to hold down the forward button, maybe? That's it. Hold down the forward button, and then you kind of alternate between those two. You gotta be looking kind of slightly down as well. But look at that, you'll climb. Why does that work? Couldn't tell you, but, um... Look at this, it's happening. As long as I don't overthink it, should be able to climb to the top. Okay, you can look up. You just gotta keep up that space and then crouch and then space and then crouch thing. Is this part of vanilla Minecraft now? I don't think so. I'm also running out of food. I'm trying to get to higher ground so I can get a better look on the area. Can't sprint anymore now. Oh! Okay, tall cacti! Okay, that is a sign that we are getting close, because in order for them to grow that tall, they would have to be loaded for an extended period of time. Which means we have got to be close to my base! Oh my good gosh. My sweet, beautiful base. Oh, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, I guess these are the mountains. Where we were supposed to be on the lookout for someone. Oh. Oh, that's just a regular mob. Huh. 
Weird. Oh, guys, I'm back. So good to be back, too. I have been gone. This video's been going on for well, well over an hour. We're finally back, though. I'm so happy to be home. Uh, Judy? Judy, what are you doing hiding back there, Judy? I gotta talk with you about something. Can I get some feathers, please? I'll give you all of my seeds. I've got uh, over 64 of them. I did some bad things to some people I found in a village. Okay, we'll just say that and we'll leave it there. All right, dark glass. Well, now I am all out of glass. If it's not one thing, I'm telling you, if it's not one thing, it's definitely the other. I can cook up more sand. That won't be too much of a problem. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll share the load between these two. And uh, that should be done in no time. In the meanwhile, a fan upgrade. How many of these can we get? Let's make as many as we can. Four of them. All right. Well, that's enough for two in one, three in the other. What did I run out of there? Was it feathers? It was feathers. Should we get three more feathers and have an even number? Oh, I don't even know how many we need. We need to go upstairs and check that first. All right. With none in there, we need to go one, two, three, four, five just to get them here. And then I think we want to push them into this, or maybe they'll wander into that by itself. In any case, that does mean putting all five of them in there, uh, which means we're going to need a minimum of five more, uh, or possibly seven more if it turns out we do need six in each. So that means probably trading off a, a lot more of our feathers, actually. Oh, we can use my sick new climbing technique to get around, though. Still not sure what facilitates that. Not going to complain. Oh, now there's a... Now there's a darn creature down there full of ink sacks. He wasn't here before, though, was he? He was playing games with me, aren't you, game? 34 feathers ought to get the job done. We'll get another five of these. And eh, we'll get two more, just in case. I mean, if we don't use them here, we might use them later for something else. And then the dark glass is going to be the final component. I cannot believe we are finally almost done with this project. It seems like something I've been... Wait a minute. Hold on, did we run out of ink sacks again? Good Come here, you. Where'd you go? Come here. Come here. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna use your ink sack to find out. Oh, no, we have 12 of them. Oh, they were all in my inventory this whole time. <laughs> Can I get you from some other source? Is there some other way to get these things? This is useless. I need recipes. I can craft them. Ah, uh, there's other... Uh, dyes we could have been using, too. We didn't exclusively have to use ink sacks. It just seemed like the most straightforward to me. That'll be plenty, and if it's not, we don't need the window to be that big. You can hold, I realize now, the, the jump button. You don't have to tap it. You can just hold it, and the climbing still works. Check this out. All you really have to do is alternate the crouch button. Again, if you know what facilitates this functionality, please don't hesitate to let me know. Also, great news. We've made too much glass, but that just means we can have it for other projects. So five in there. We'll stop showing the area. We'll turn on both of these fans, and then we'll seal this into darkness. And if we tap F7, it'll show that monsters should spawn all up in here at all times. So, now I guess we'll just we'll go away for a bit, and we'll leave it alone. And, uh, oh, I've got to find a way to check that chest downstairs, though. I'm going to have to build a platform up to it, I guess, and then I'll have to shimmy my way up there. This is, of course, a temporary solution to this problem but uh, one that I think ought to work. The only possible issue I see now is with where it is we've decided to construct this thing because it is kind of close to where we're normally working and monsters don't spawn within a certain radius to you. So that might be a bit of an issue, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. I'm mostly just interested to find out if it works at all. I'm not seeing any monsters in there. Again, it might just because... They're all spawning out in the... Oh, yeah, look at that. They're all they're all out there. Maybe this was a waste all along. I'm not sure. All right, so it's daytime. There are not hardly any monsters. In fact, there are no monsters out here within sight. I just killed a couple. So if the game wants to put mobs in, this is sort of the best area to do it. And again, I'm, I'm pretty close. I don't really know where spawn is in this world. I'm pretty sure it's a lot further away than right here. So... This should be in sort of the perfect area to spawn monsters. If it's going to work, now is the best time for it to work. But as usual with these things, maybe we'd be better off not hanging around, hovering around it, checking on it to see if anything's going to happen. We might be better off just 
leaving it alone for a bit and uh, doing other projects, which is what I'm going to get started with. So if you folks somehow found enjoyment in this, uh, explain how down below, because that, that'd be an interesting uh, study <laughs> into the human psyche. Uh, until next time, thank you folks uh, for watching. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you later in the next video. Bye!